Welcome to Louisville for the world famous RV show. Now, as everyone knows, the Kentucky Derby is one of the world's most famous horse races, but there are plenty of thoroughbred motorhomes here too, or as our American friends call them, RVs. Now, we're putting together a little video diary to show you some of the best in show. Three kinds of motorhome are available here in the US. Type A, big coaches, type B, van conversions, and type C, commercial vehicle conversions with an overcab section. Well, let's start off our little video diary with a look at this London Air, it's called, by a company called Newmar. It's unbelievable. It's a huge liner type thing. It has slide outs galore, a tumble dryer, washing machine, three televisions I counted, a shower compartment bigger than the one in the average house, a fantastic bed, and just so much space courtesy of the slide outs and the overall length of the vehicle. Unbelievable amount of kind of like refined design and residential features and all those kinds of things that I think the American market quite likes. Now this is the Ford E450 Super Duty, apparently the most popular base vehicle for conversions in the US. The engine is a V10 petrol unit which produces 400 pounds per foot of torque. Absolutely enormous. I have no idea what the fuel economy is like, but I've heard they're fairly handy for people with a reasonably good wallet. But if you want something more powerful, and perhaps for an application where only at least 453 pounds per foot of torque is going to be good enough, then how about this? This is the Ford F53 Super Duty chassis, the most popular chassis that underpins Class A motorhomes in the US. It is quite a beast, and they painted it up to look very nice indeed. Now, for some things, only this kind of rig is going to do the job. Now, if you're looking for somewhere to stick that chassis with its V10 engine, then how about this, the incredibly named Fleetwood RV Bounder. This is a veritable behemoth of a motorhome. Just look at this lovely living area with all the palatial requirements and design. Nice armchair here for relaxing in. A nice big bed at the back. A couple of televisions. And, of course, a massive slide-out section. This is the Four Winds from Thor. What a fantastic name. Now it's based on the Ford F550 and look at that fantastic overcab molding. That must be space for an absolutely whopping double bed. But no, there's no bed here at all. As you can see, it's an enormous television. What a waste of space. Literally, you might think, but hang on. There's more to it than that. Underneath here, we have a fantastic storage compartment, so they haven't wasted this space after all. Now the rest of the van is an absolute looker. It's not particularly my taste, it's maybe a little bit too 1970s pub, but having said that, a fantastic effort. Look at all the amazing space available. That is definitely one of the hallmarks of this American RV market. Now one of the surprising things for visitors from Europe is to see how popular the Mercedes Sprinter base vehicle is. This is a van from a Canadian manufacturer called Leisure Travel Vans. It has a slide out on the side and very European styling. Look at all these dark woods, high contrasting with these fabulous worktops and the level of luxury that you would fully expect from the Americans. Or how about this? This is the 2015 edition of the Winnebago Brave, which is based on the former classic known as the W, which was basically one of the iconic Winnebagos from back in the day. Now this more modern version has an amazing fit, finish and overall design, extremely capacious living quarters courtesy of the slide out, there's a double bed at the back, another one up above the driver's cab, and a kitchen that doesn't leave you wanting for very much at all. This definitely seems to be the way that things go in this market. Now, this is based on the Ford chassis with that V10 engine again, producing this whopping amount of torque. Having said that, I'm not really sure I'd want the fuel bills. I think if you're going to stump up for one of these, you're going to have to be pretty brave to do so. Now, another trend that we've spotted at the show, we're not sure how new it is because we haven't been every year, of course, is this amazing patio configuration. This goes back to what I was talking about, this whole tailgate movement. You can just drop the back of the vehicle and have a party. And just look at this area at the back. You've got some seats there that makes it into a bed, presumably. And there's, guess what, another television in there. I think they love TVs here. I don't know what gives me that idea. So anyway, as we can see, when it comes to RVs, everything's bigger, well, most of the time and better. Well, not really in America. I mean, obviously they do build some absolutely cracking stuff, but our own market has a lot of quality in it as well. And while it's been a lot of fun to review these products and just see what somebody else's take on the market is, I think we're very well served at home.